No, really. You can go on ahead. Get us some good seats. No sense in both of us waddling through that line. Come on, shoo. Popcorn and milk does, right? And a sprite, yeah. I didn't forget, trust me. I'm even thirstier than you are right now. I'm not gonna forget about the drinks. <sighs> Finally. Fuck, I thought he'd never leave. Consider it and all, but how am I supposed to sneak off when he's so damn polite? By the way, bite my hand and I'm going to make your last moment so painful that you'll... Ah, uh, well. That is awkward. Sorry, didn't look before I grabbed. I just heard someone hiding back here and I thought it was convenient. Shit, this is kind of a mess. Would you quit struggling? I need to think here, jeez. What are you even doing sneaking around in the broom closet? Don't give me that look. I know I'm covering your mouth. It was a rhetorical question, alright? I mean, probably rhetorical. I don't think I'm using that correctly. Do you think I'm using that correctly? Not the point. The point is this. It is an absolute clusterfuck. I really wish I'd known who was in here. So is me right for rushing this, I guess. I'm just so damn thirsty. And now you're staring at the fangs. Fantastic. This just keeps getting better. Not that I could have let you go anyway, but still. Right, I'm just gonna tell you what's gonna happen here. I'm a vampire, obviously. Not gonna insult your intelligence by assuming you need that spelled out for you. I'm also about to see a particularly gory movie with your brother, and I got a late start this evening, so I haven't got a chance to eat yet. I really don't want my fangs popping in the middle of the film, so I needed a quick snack. No hard feelings, right? Wrong place, wrong time and all that. Yeah, gonna translate kick to the shin as a no. Hope that made you feel better. Look, you and I both know I'm a lot stronger than you are. So do yourself a favour and just go limp already. Hell, do your brother a favour. He's going to be devastated enough by this without finding bruises all over your corpse. Fuck, he really is going to be devastated. I better make tonight fun for him. One last hurrah before starting the grieving process. I know what you're thinking, and no, not a mind reader. I'm actually totally guessing here. But I'm guessing you're thinking... If you're worried about hurting my brother, why aren't you just gonna let me go? But here's the thing. Well, several things. One, if I let you go, you're gonna tell everyone what I am. The exterminators, the cops, your brother. And I like your brother, okay? He's fun. Plus, he says I'm his best friend. Losing either of us is gonna mess him up. And it's totally selfish of me, but I'd prefer he lose you. Two, I guess I can be honest, since you're not going to be telling anyone. You smell fucking delicious. I'm taking crack and bacon levels of mouthwatering. The only reason I didn't snap you up the first time we met is because of your brother. It's, well... I'm already up shit creek here. Might as well enjoy the boat ride. Maybe it's better this way. You'll get over your loss eventually. I'll even be able to come over visit more often without you hanging around. Getting my stomach growling. Do you even know? 
how many times I've had to duck out of hangouts early because of you. Hell. The number of vampire kills around here might drop a whole damn percentage without you working up my appetite. Finishing you off is practically a community service. Yeah. Yeah, this is for the best. I'm gonna enjoy this. It'd be rude not to, right? I'm sure your brother would feel so much worse if the vampire who drank you up didn't even save you. I don't know what the fuck you were doing in here, but thanks for tucking yourself away in the closet. Should make it easy to hide the body when I'm done. At least until theatre closes for the night. <sighs> fuck. I can't believe I'm finally doing this. Tried to hold still. It'll hurt worse if you squirm. <sighs> Fuck me, you're so, so damn delicious. I wish I could have drained you more than once. I don't want to taste. I don't want to waste a drop. I should have done this sooner. How the hell did I hold back this long? <laughs> Lucky for you, I'm so damn loyal. Too bad you had to go and fuck yourself over. I don't even feel guilty about this. Good fucking meal. I'm stuffed. Thanks for the drink, babe. You were even tastier than you smelled. Well, that takes care of that. <sighs> I hate it when they die with their eyes open. It's creepy as hell. The lights are out. And the house is empty, but the windows are still uncovered. You make for a gross corpse, babe. Hope it's a closed casket funeral. Now, popcorn and milk duds. Oh, and Sprite too. Thanks for reminding me. You're a real lifesaver. 